Alright, welcome to my Roblox Shockwave Radar Magnet Type uh, tutorial on how to make this. This is a pretty simple one. It just it's just gonna tween over and over again, just like this. And you can use this for like some sort of magnet radar to detect a player or a shockwave. So to get started, uh, I already have it made. Uh, all you'll need is. You can get this VFX pack from the tool box. Just uh, go to models, type in VFX, and it's the first one. You can drag it into your uh, workspace. Yeah, uh, so the one I'm using for the example is this one right here, the ring. And I already have mine over here. I just dragged it out. And what you want to do is just leave it out how it is and just drag it into replicated storage. And this is basically uh, the script for it. And I'll be going through it, so you'll get the players, the player, and you'll get the character, which is going to be the model. And then you'll need the replicated storage so we can clone it later, and then tween service for the tweening. Okay, so what essentially is going to happen is we'll clone the ring, so we'll make a variable to clone it, and then we'll get, uh, we're going to move the ring down like just 0.25 stud so it's like where the feet of the character is and then after that we're gonna create a tween on the ring we're gonna give it about a one second duration and we're gonna change the size uh we're gonna use vector 3.new so like the x uh let's see let me show you so like we're gonna uh expand it by like, the x and the z so like oh expand like this about uh multiply by like 10 10x and same for the z and then so like you'll get like a big circle okay and then we're gonna parent it to like the character model so it'll be in the side of the player and then we're gonna add a debris that will get rid of the ring after two seconds i've made a weld just in case you want to like make it uh, stay on the character instead of just being like uh, where it last is. So as you can see, it like, uh, we'll do a, sh a wave, a shock wave around wherever it like spawned in at and it won't really follow the character, the player. So what you wanna do is if you want it to like stay on the player constantly, you will add a weld and and we're gonna make it on the ring and the character humanoid root part and we're gonna parent it to the character model and since we're gonna weld it we're gonna have to make the ring uh, uh to unanchor it so it can allow us to like move around and as you can see the ring now like our shockwave now stays constantly uh, consistent with wherever the character model is